We often think of art as the product of great inventiveness and skill, these amazing paintings and sculptures that we see at museums and all over the world. But there is also a very different approach to art making, which has more to do with the way in which we look at the world. So a few years ago, I noticed how my husband, who works from home, had this habit of um, just uh, doing long phone calls or conference calls. He would be taking a, a, a little paper clip and twist it in different shapes. And I'm sure it was just a completely accidental artwork, but this is the kind of stuff that um, I would be finding all over the house. And in the beginning, I just thought nothing of it. And at some point in time, I thought, actually, they look like miniature sculptures. So then after I was uh, finding all these things around the house, I decided to um, do a little fun project for myself. I called it work week for the, um, you know, five days of the week in which my husband was working. So here you go, work week. And I just took those little um, pins uh, that I found all over the house and I uh, Xeroxed them. So um, here is uh, Monday, Tuesday, Oops. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And then of course there were lots of additional ones and I just made, oops, one for Saturday, sorry, and one for Sunday. So I guess it was a seven day work week. And then I had one page where I just had them all together. I call these uh, accidental artworks. And if you are at home right now and you look at your surroundings, you may want to put on a, a whole different perspective and look at uh, what surrounds you and what might inspire you and do a creative project on your own.